Crusader Kings 3 campaign in uh, Toledo, and we're just going to get time going. If you weren't here for the last episode, we've uh, we got so close to forming the uh, the Kingdom of Toledo. Where is it? Established the Kingdom of Toledo. Uh, we just need to hold an entire duchy adjacent to the Duchy of Toledo, which is here. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of work for us. We're not 100% sure uh, how we're going to do it. We could, I think Navarra is going to be the easiest in a way, but um, we're going to have to take on Leon, which we don't really want to do. I mean, we're not allied with them, but we also don't really... Oh, wow, we could take all of this off them. Interesting. That would that would actually immediately fix our problem um, if we took this off them. But the only problem is they've got 5,000 troops. Um, well, we'll let our troops recover. And then we might have to go to war with our friend, Queen Blanca. So uh, I think that might be the way to do it, because we can immediately succeed and we can take an entire duchy. Uh, Navarro, we'd obviously take uh, Najera here, uh, which would not which would get us the required land, because it is adjacent to it. Yes, it is. Um, but we, if we can take all of Castile back, um, that's obviously preferable, because it's way more land in one war. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on her see what happens now when she dies her realm is going to split into two so we could wait it out how old is she 47 we're 57 this is the problem trying to um trying to wait it out obviously if we die uh navarro will split away from us anyway but uh, uh due to succession but uh, that's not the end of the world we've got our home duchy now it's a large duchy so we're kind of fine when that happens um, we just obviously would want to try to do it before that happens. Anyway, let's get our uh, husband here to convert. I totally didn't realize he wasn't our faith until uh, I was looking around just before we started the episode, just to kind of get my bearings on what's going on. But uh, yeah, so there we go. He's converting now. He's our husband, our knight and a duke. And is he good at fighting? He's not too bad. He's not too bad. Uh, we've got a faction spawning. We've got one for oh, our, our sister here. If you weren't here for the last episode, she stole like half our artifacts. <laughs> well, she fought us for one and then she just stole the other one. So um, yeah, it looks like people are trying to put her on the throne as well. Which is pretty funny, our sister here trying to usurp us. I mean, we could... Um, Oh, can we make, get it excommunicated? Oh. I mean, we could do this because then people won't like her. What kind of character are we? Diligent, temperate, ambitious? I don't know. So yeah, we could excommunicate her. People won't like her. She'll become our rival. She's, I think she's already our rival, isn't she? Oh, no, she isn't. She just... Uh, she just doesn't like us, even though she's our sister. Um, I mean, to be honest, if we fight the war and win, we can just take uh, the realm off her, so... It's probably fine, actually. Right, let's get a uh, new physician. We have... We can create this Kingdom of Navarra. Now, we, we could do this, but I don't think there's any benefit from doing so. Although, yeah, no, because we're under Confederate Partitions. It wouldn't actually help us at all, I don't think, creating this at the moment. I think I'd rather just wait and create the Kingdom of uh, Toledo. I don't think you, I think you can create it even if you don't have a have, have a current kingdom. But uh, we all know what Crusader Kings is is like. Sometimes it doesn't list it here as an actual requirement. So um, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to wait it out. It doesn't benefit us that much at the moment because we will be able to form that kingdom before too long. So uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan of uh, plan of action. We've got quite a lot of money. In fact, we've got so much money we might. Um, um, uh, get some more buildings. Uh, the first time, oh, he's trying to uh, he's trying to uh, sway us to his side. He's a vindictive atheist. Okay, he's a powerful vassal. Okay, well, we probably don't want to annoy him too much. Although we can get ten dread. Do you want, let's just do that. Let's just do that instead. Um, he's a powerful vassal who isn't on the court. Have we got anyone who's bad? Okay, they're not a powerful. Oh, that's us. That's our sister. Do you know what? No, she can she can get out of here, to be honest. Um She's not a powerful vassal. And like I say, she stole our stuff, so. Um in fact you can be replaced with you. You're 23. You're 11. Are you a powerful vassal? Yes, yeah, so we probably want to leave her here. Although he is a powerful vassal and better than her. So, do you know what? Let's. Actually, what is her rating in. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> It is awful. Uh, what about you? Okay, you're better than her. I'm trying to think of moving people around, but I think we'll just actually replace her with him. There we go. 
And then, yeah, we've got somebody slightly better than her, but it's only two. So, uh, there we go. That's upgraded our council a little bit. Uh, yeah, we've got all that money. We're making nearly 10 gold a month, which is pretty decent. So let's build something here in Madrid. We'll also build something. Again, I think we'll get some extra money. Let's go with the uh, pastoral lands. Well, the hunting grounds is... Why? <laughs> I've never noticed this. The hunting grounds is way better than the pastoral grounds. It has the same tax and levies, but also has all these additional bonuses. Kind of weird, it's half the price. There must be a reason. We might get a reduction on these for some reason. But, uh, well, there we go. Let's go, there we go. I'm sure one of you will comment in the uh, in the comments down below as to why that's the case. But off the top of my head, I can't remember why. Uh, yeah, let's get this. Fest, uh, well, independent rulers like us more. Fellow vassals, obviously, we don't, we're not a vassal of somebody else. This doesn't matter. But we can get an alliance without a marriage. Now, that could help us, because we could then declare war on Leon. Uh, what about Gascon? They, ooh, can we marry? Can we get an alliance with you? He'd say no. Doesn't like us enough. What about Galicia? Uh, he would also say no. Oh, because the faith. Yeah, the faith modifier, I think, is going to be too much. Uh, what about you? No, minus 80. And I don't think anyone else follows our faith, so... Um, yeah, we might... Look at Bavaria. Bavaria's huge. Minus 59. Minus 50. I think what we'll do is... Uh, what, was, what was theirs? It was minus 46. Let's see if we can sway this guy a little bit. Because we can pick up a free alliance. We can basically attack Leon immediately. Because we'll have enough troops between us then. Uh, the Ramley Roach has low durability. Okay. It does. Oh, it's got 20 years left, but... It does give us an okay amount of prestige. So, do you know what? I guess we will fix this up. Repair it for 25 gold. There's no point letting it go to waste for, for literally no reason, so... Um, yeah, we'll fix that up. We can add our, ask our head of faith for gold. 200 gold. Do you want, let's do it. Let's get some more gold. We can invest that money immediately, which can help us, obviously, in the future. Uh, we probably need to upgrade this castle, I would imagine. But we don't have battlements yet, so we can't. Uh, that's already building an upgrade. Madrid obviously already is. And Toledo already is. So, um, actually, we'll just keep the money for now. We'll reinvest it uh, once one of these are finished in some, uh, in some additional stuff. Although, Joe, we've got so much money. Could we attack Leon? Oh, they've got a lot of money as well. They'd be able to take out um, mercenaries as well. I was thinking we could take on some mercenaries to, to take them on. How much have we got? 400 gold. So we could get 1,500 additional troops, host of the Viscount. But I don't think that's going to... Well, do you know what? They've got 5,000. We'd have 6,400 plus the mercenaries. I mean, they'd be able to get mercenaries as well. So we kind of even it out. Although we can take the last large mercenaries. Uh, Castile. So she would... She wouldn't be able... Ah, see, this is skewed. Because we wouldn't be able to call her into the war. Because she is a vassal of her. So actually, you know, we'd have 2,000 less troops than this. Um, so we'd have probably just more troops than her. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty risky. Um, do we have anyone not married? No, we have an alliance. You have an alliance already. Yeah, I think we'll wait it out a little bit. See if something else kind of comes um, comes into focus. Like, if they were attacked by somebody, or if they attacked somebody else, like if they attacked uh, Galicia for some reason, I think we could do it then. I mean, we could risk it, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. It, it, it would be risky. It'd be extremely close as to whether we'd win or not. Although, you know, do we, do we risk it? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going to think about it a little bit more whilst we uh, just kind of watch. Uh, in fact, whilst we're waiting for time to pass, uh, let's take a quick look around the world. Wow, look at Sweden. They're really flying uh, up here. Yeah, nice Queen of Sweden as well. Kazari doing quite well for themselves. The Arabian Empire sticking around. They haven't fallen apart just yet. And then, uh, yeah, Ghana, the, the Kingdom of Sahara, or the Duchy, I suppose. Yeah, uh, no, it is the Kingdom. Yeah, the Grand uh, Emirate. So they've formed uh, Sahara already, which is pretty nice to see. And, uh, yeah, England, uh, well, not England, uh, Europe's a, a bit of a mess. <laughs> a bit of a mess. And obviously this bottom bit here is a real mess. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to keep themselves busy quite a bit. 
and we can kind of concentrate down here in uh, in Iberia. Uh, do we already have some mercenaries? Oh, I didn't realize we already had these. Three months. Could we? Could we declare war on them? Use these troops. Oh wait, no, they'll already be counted towards these, I guess. Oh no, they're not. Okay. Um. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, yeah, see, we could take this Andalusian band of the Morisha. Morisha. And one thousand five hundred. How many? How much gold do you have? Oh, two eight five. Oh, she spent some of it. Okay, so she'd only be able to get one of these small amounts. We'd be able to get twice as many uh, mercenaries as she could. So I'm kind of thinking we'll risk it and try to do it. It's uh, it's bad because she is our friend, but uh, I think we're going to backstab her and uh, do this war and see how well we do. This is either going to go very well for us or exceedingly badly. So uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see which way it goes. Um, I think we'll get these because there's got armored footmen in them, which is going to be fantastic for us. Yeah, let's let's hire these guys, and then we'll raise all the rest of our troops as well. We'll call in all the allies we can. Um, I don't think he has many troops. Oh, he has 100 troops. Don't even bother. Uh, we can't call... Oh, well, that's it then. We literally can't. Oh, we can call in our uh, our house member. Wherever... He oh, yeah, he's the Earl of Dorset. Yeah, the last, uh, last episode. Oh, he's actually got two counties now. What a, what a legend. Uh, yeah, I'll call you in. And I think that's basically all we can do. Yep. So, uh, yeah, let's get our army raised. And then I'm thinking if we can try and attack them really quickly... Uh, that's going to be where we can, um, uh, that's where we can make that benefit. Oh, we've got Typhus. Are we going to die? Oh, it's too late for caution. No, do what is necessary. Oh, nice. He actually made us a little bit healthier. It does think we're still going to die, though. That will be annoying if we've declared this war and then we die. <laughs> um, that won't be ideal. That'll, definitely not what we would have wanted to happen. Oh, if we, if he's, uh, sieging this down, or she is... Uh, actually, no, it's going to scare scare him off. I'd say we'll get the bonus for defending the mountains here. Oh, hello. Oh, if we can get in here, we might be able to win this. Let's have a look. No, we will not. Oh, wait, he's our best commander. There's no way. Wait, is she leading her own her own troops? Oh, no, that she gets huge bonuses for that. Oh, there we go. We, we survived Typhus. Oh, we, we're probably going to lose this fight then. Oh, I didn't realize he was our best commander. That's got to be wrong. Fallen Consort. The conflict between Leon and Dorset interested me little. Until my council summary of the Battle of Irin appeared, I snatched the scrap, scanning for news of my husband. Wait, did our husband just get killed? Look at him. He looks like he's in pajamas. <laughs> Among the dispatches it reads, we confirm Duke Heichel was was killed staunchly resisting the Dorsetian archers. Wait, no, Dorset's on our side. This is wrong. Like, Dorset's on our side. He was slain by Diego, knight, knight of Queen Blanca in a fierce encounter. I should have not let him go not like this. Diego is a dead man. Dead. Oh, so we become a rival of his immediately. You you proved your valor, my love. Um, oh, we're getting half as much stress. Sure, let's let's just do it. Diego is a dead man. We're going to kill that Diego guy. He becomes our rival for killing our husband. Uh, we can get an alliance, though. Well, probably not an alliance, because no one's going to like us enough because we're old. Um, I mean, I guess we'll remarry. There's literally no point, really. We could just... Well, actually, no, we'll marry for stats. I mean, this, this person's stats. Because <laughs> his stats are really good. But, uh, yeah, I think we might lose this first fight. I didn't realize she'd be leading her army, so she gets a, a nice bonus for that. Looks like our spy master also died. Well, yeah, that's not a fantastic start to the war. If we're being honest. He, we must have a... Yeah, why did that other guy be our, knight, be our commander? That was my fault. I totally wasn't paying attention um, to, the, for, to, to who was leading the army. So, uh, that, yeah, that's bad. Oh, yeah, they're retreating, so we can't put in a fresh commander in just yet. Yeah, they're going to retreat all the way home. Uh, we killed, what, like 200 of their troops? Not amazing. I think they wiped the, the Dorset army. Oh, wait, no, no, they're here somewhere. 400 of them. Oh, no, they're still with us. There we go. So, yeah, let's get here. Let's get this 32 commander in. 
and then we'll re replenish our armies. And then um, I guess you know, we could try sneak around and just siege down her capital. <laughs> I wonder if that would work for us. Probably not. So I think we're going to try instead. Come over and try and fight them. And uh, see if this is a good idea. Again, we'll be defending in the... Oh, actually, no. Should we... Oh, too late, isn't it? Oh, they're attacking it. Well, we might as well attack here because they're attacking here. I don't know why this 500 stack is... Oh, nice. No, we might ca catch them out of here a little bit. Maybe. At least we've taken some damage to them. Are they going to turn it around? Oh, she's not leading the army because... Because we encountered the, the other half first. He's leading the army. Uh, oh, this is that Diego guy who killed her husband. I'd love it if we captured him on the battlefield or something. Nice, we actually won. Fantastic. Okay, that was kind of surprising, but uh, I'll take it. Oh, oh, she died. She <laughs> she just died after that battle. Our queen, uh, our friend, Queen Blanca. Oh, and her husband died. At the Did they die on the same day? 24th? No, he died last year, actually. Interesting that she died. What did she die of? Died of a seizure. Was it through stress? I imagine some kind of stress. So, well, there we go. Now... This sh oh no, wait, no, he'll keep the troops. But uh, yeah, actually, if, we, if we'd if we waited, uh, we this might have been easier for us. Although, to be honest, probably not, because she probably got stressed from the things that were happening, so from this war, so. Oh, our husband died. We're not having a good time keeping our husband's alive. <laughs> Are we? They're, they're dying pretty quickly. Angle Bear, you're the, you're the fresh, fresh husband. Uh, we can ransom the mayor for 30 gold. We'll do that. Um, interesting. Yeah, so... This is... Um, yeah, kind of interesting. They've already split. So yeah, hopefully we can win this war. And then to be honest, later on we can take the rest of this a lot easier now. Unless they kind of merge the lands back together in some way. Andalusian advancements. Andalusian scholars have recently made great strides in the medical knowledge. But the polymath Jahir has been exiled from my old foe, Emir Allies court for a poem and a mistake doubt it and seeks new employment i've learned much he says from the works of the ancients yet i have rescued uh, their knowledge from the abyss of prolaxity don't know what that means and can use it for your benefit my current composition ramir urges me not to replace him with this heathen i mean funnily enough oh no 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 it's our it is our bishop who is there i could use a new physician is he good yeah, he's fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I could use a new physician. 155 gold. Ah, uh, that's a lot of gold. Or we can tell him no. I mean, we're ambitious, though. So I guess ambitiously we're like, yeah, this guy's great. It will cost you 200 prestige and gold. I mean, we'll we'll be out of debt as soon as we finish this month, though. So, sure, let's do it. He's so good. 27 learning. Um, in fact, probably... Uh, not courtiers. You. Yeah, let's get him married to somebody within our realm. Well, actually, does it matter if they're within our realm? No, because he is in our realm, so they'll they'll come to him. I think. Wait, she has a claim on Carcassonne? And she wants to marry him? Uh... Okay. <laughs> sure. Demand conversion. Yep, get converted. <laughs> come, Come join our religion. And yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Well, there we go. Like a uh, nice new physician. We should win this war now. We'll probably come up and fight off this army uh, once we've finished sieging this, just so they don't take some of Navarra. Um, there's no point in letting them take the, uh, you know, getting those points for doing so. Um, can we wait a little bit longer? I don't want them to walk away from sieging this down. That's the thing. So we'll have to wait, because otherwise as soon as we move, they'll they'll move as well. There we go. I don't know where the rest of their army's gone. Unless they've gone to war with somebody else. No. Uh, look, I mean, look at that. He's only got 700 troops. Um, I mean, we'll have the truce with him, but after the truce is finished, I think we'll just attack him again and take some more land there as we hopefully can expand the kingdom of uh, Toledo in the future. Right, get back here. <laughs> they saw us coming and they uh, decided to run off. Well, no, do you know what? Let's just go back down here. Let's just siege down this land that we want. I mean, we could just siege down the capital. Let's just do that instead. It's an even better idea. Uh, let's get a new steward, our vassal here. So everyone kind of likes us now, which is nice. 
And um, yeah, we just got a new innovation. We just picked up uh, quilted armor so we can get we can get armored footmen as man at arms if we wanted to. We've got our exposure is Casus Belli, which gives us du jour County Casus Belli. Not fantastic, but we'll speed this up so we get it a little bit quicker so we can get on to some more interesting things later. And, um, oh, hybrid culture. Prince Bishop Alberto of uh, San Galen has formed the Suebio Cisalpine culture. Which is pretty interesting. We'll see. I mean, we could do that with our culture in the future. We could do a... We could reform Catalan. Actually, no, Catalan's so good. Well, no, we can just add an additional one, can't we? So once we have a decent amount of prestige on a character, we can add one of these traditions on here. As with the previous campaign, if you watched it, the Rise of the Habsburgs, if you have an idea of a tradition you want me to add in that kind of makes sense for the uh, Catalans, uh, or, no, Castilians, I, I don't know, I always get mixed up which one we are, Catalans. Um, put a comment down below. Let me know which one you think would be good for us to choose, because we will add another one as soon as we're able to. Just makes sense. But yeah, it looks like we're going to win this war. He did lose the rest of his troops. Weirdly, I thought you kept them till the current war you were in ended, but I guess not. Um, he's definitely lost them all. So uh, let's attack him again, and I think we might win the war attacking him. We can get this finished, and then as long as fingers crossed we don't die, uh, we'll just need the money to be able to do this. So um, yeah, we'll just have to make 250 gold. We'll have to... Actually, where is the Pope? Let's butter him up. Because um, we can ask the Pope for gold and that'll be enough to uh, form the kingdom. There we go, we won. Sweet. Enforce demands. There we go, look at that, we've taken it. Fantastic. Well, that was easier than I thought, even after losing that initial battle. Um, that actually worked out quite well for us. We've got too much um, too much land. I, th I think she she's still our sister. Yes, yeah, she is. So... I mean, I'm going to give her the rest of Castile. Can we... Let's have a look. Um, can we form this? Are we just missing the gold? Yeah, we're just missing the gold. So, um, you were holding complete control. Any duchy with du jour borders. So, yeah, what we'll do is we'll give her this title. And then once we form the kingdom, we'll give her the duchy of Castile title. Because obviously we can't give her that now because we're, we're only a duchess as well. So we need to wait till we're a, ki oh, a queen, and then we can do that. So, um, yeah. It looks like we're going to be able to do this. We've just basically got to live <laughs> so we um, so we can get enough money to do it. We can't ransom him off. He's not worth anything to anyone. He's not even that good. So uh, you can just get out of here. Uh, yeah, just go away. Just leave our lands. We're not that interested in you. So, yeah, we'll just save up the money. And then um, we'll become a queen. And like I say, hopefully... The Pope will give us some money. Minus nine. So yeah, he should be able to give us the money relatively soon. Um which will be which will be nice for us. Minus nine. Will this go down to minus eight? Uh the end of this month. Let's have a look. No, it's still minus nine. We need to increase this quite a bit, I think. So um well actually it goes down from the fact we requested gold as well. So yeah, we just need to wait that out. The holy city of Santiago is a magnet for the faithful, drawing pilgrims from lands local and distant. The route, uh, the route to it is accordingly well travelled, when wending its way to the site from the foothills of the Pyrenees. Of course, where people rich enough to travel to the holy site exist, so do to those looking to profit from their trust in the Almighty. It is the fifth report of a violent robbery by bandits in as many days on the stretches of land that run through my territory that finally drives my steward, Alamanda, to consult me on things and how to deal with this issue. So, uh, yeah, looks like people... Uh, oh, no, we don't want to give up gold. <laughs> um, God helps those who help themselves. I mean, I'm going to have to say that because we need the gold. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> we need the money. Sorry. We need the money for other things. And, uh, yeah, like I say... Actually, do we have a truce with Castile? Yes. We don't have a truce with Leon. Oh, he kept all the troops, basically. So, um... Yeah, I think we might take Castile later on. As soon as the truce ends. Uh, invite to activity, we want to... Well, this guy wants to have us to a feast, sure. As long as we don't get killed, I'm happy. The innuendo... 
Uh, let's do this. All of my new blouse. <laughs> Some guy spilt something on us. Uh, oh yeah, one prestige a month. Let's do it. I'll take that. Do you like us enough yet? Minus seven. We're getting there very slowly, but uh, we'll get there soon enough. We could give him something else to try speed it up. Could like give him a artifact, but I don't think we have anything we'd really want to give away. Oh, we could give away this terrible sword, actually. This terrible dagger. Go, let's give him that. That has buffed it up a little bit. Minus two. Oh, it's so close now. It's so close, I can feel it. Uh, funnily enough, we'll probably earn enough gold anyway before <laughs> before it changes. Although I suppose we'll... Uh, oh, there we go. Actually, we can get it right now. Fantastic. Right, we should be able to do that decision. Why can we not do this? You're missing 39 gold? Oh, he hasn't given us the gold yet. There we go. Nice. So there we go. Establish the Kingdom of Toledo. Since the fall of the Visigothic Kingdoms to the Moors, Toledo has been relegated. As the capital of a new Mozarabic realm, it will once again be the seat of kings or queens. Queens, guys. Look, look who we are. Um, so we're going to gain 750 prestige. We'll get the Kingdom of Toledo as a title. We'll get the Kingdom of Toledo buff for 10 years, which is same faith opinion plus 10. Development growth plus 10%, which is great. And the Kingdom of Toledo becomes de jure liege of the Duchy of Toledo, which kind of makes sense. And uh, yeah, let's do this. The Toledo Court. So this is just saying we've set up our court now, so we'll go look at that afterwards. Well, in fact, let's try... Oh, look at this court. That looks awesome. <laughs> that looks really cool, actually, for, uh, for a new Toledo Court. Uh, with the strength of my position now beyond all doubt, the coronation in Toledo has at last gone ahead as planned. It is high time we Mozarabs carved out our own domain, distinct from the petty Tifas and dominions of the north, a realm to rival the, Vis the Visigothic kingdoms of old. Long may our kingdom prosper. So there we go, fantastic. So yeah, we've set up our uh, kingdoms. Now we get all the uh, the royal court, things like that. We can put up the Olmedo uh, dynasty banner behind us. Why not? Looks pretty nice. We'll get the um, house banner over here. Again, looking pretty cool. In fact, well, it looks exactly the same because we're the dynasty. Uh, we're like the head house of the dynasty, so basically exactly the same. Um, but that's everything we've got, so we're going to have to start building up some artifacts now. I love the... F look, look at our throne. It looks amazing. Uh, can we look at it? There we go. That's going to zoom us in. I mean, it doesn't look super comfortable. I like the fact that our husband looks like he's like 10 times bigger than us. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm loving this. Joe, you know we're making quite a lot of money, so let's up how good our court is a little bit. We won't go crazy. Well, actually, no, it's only going to increase it by this much. You know, let's go. Let's go level three for everything. It's going to give us some awesome buffs. Well, hopefully, bestow royal, uh, manage royal guards council task. John, you know, that's not even that good. Uh, tyranny gain minus twenty percent, not too bad. Once we reach level five. We'll get courtiers uh, who have lived in the royal court for five years gain a special trait based on the court type. Uh, we are a diplomatic court. Um, do we want to be diplomatic? We can offer increased offer vassalage acceptance scale by grandeur. Ooh, that's cool. Um, and then tyranny, opinion modifier. If we're at level 10, we get an additional personal scheme. Or if we're scholarly, we can get more inspired characters. Courtesan gets like us more. Lifestyle buff. And then learning based on level of fame buff as well. Um, I, I kind of hope there was like a religious one. I can't remember if there is. Um, I imagine there isn't, otherwise we would have seen it. Um, I guess we'll go... You know, I might switch to Scholarly. I think we're usually diplomatic. And to be honest, this isn't great. Offer Vassalage is, is pretty good, I suppose, uh, this buff here. But I think I want to be Scholarly. We did fund the Jewish arts in with our last character, so um, we'll try and build this up, I think, as a like a center of uh, Scholarly stuff. According to, but yeah, this I think yeah, we get more inspired characters, so we can get more artifacts. Do you know, let's do it. I don't think I've ever had a scholar a scholarly court. So um yeah, I think we'll do that. We've got our own religion obviously set up here. Oh, look at that colour. That's a really nice colour for Toledo. A kind of uh, a nice uh, light greyish blue kind of colour. I like it. We can hold court, we'll do that in a second. Uh, we hold too many duchies, we do. So what we'll do is we'll give our sister here. This land and the duchy itself, the duchy of Castile. There we go. So we, she, she is obviously our largest vassal, but it makes sense. You know, we we, we can't hold all these uh, ourselves. Now the other thing I wanted to check is, I thought we could do this. Oh, we're missing one piety, and then we convene the Council of Toledo. So we'll be doing that in a second. 
Um, bind the faith to Rome. No, break from Rome. Oh, you need a lot of piety for these. So we'll be doing those in the future. And then everything else is kind of just the generic stuff. We could form Portugal, but we're not going to do that. That's like way over here. Um, so we don't even hold the land. But quite yeah, We don't hold any of the land. So I'm surprised we even get told this. I guess because we are in um, to uh, Toledo and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's get going. We're moving up in the world. We are dedicated to our faith. Good manners give you life. I wish you only have you. Oh, he's trying to seduce us. King Lorian Spymaster in Cantabria. Wait, over here? Is that in Galicia? I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's in Castile. So the, the Castile's king's spymaster is trying to uh, romances. Duke Rodrigo. Uh, I'm going to say no. Leave us alone. <laughs> Leave us alone. Thank you very much. I'm not that interested. Um, so yeah, we'll get one more uh, piety. We'll do the re um, the other decision. Uh, the convene the Council of Toledo. Oh wait, no, we're missing an option. Realm size is 20 or more. Oh, interesting. What size are we? Um, I can't remember where you can see your realms. Oh, there we go, 15. So no, we need to get more land. So yeah, I think we will take on Castile then. Take uh, Castile off them, and then obviously some of these guys around us. But we have formed our kingdom, so... That should keep us relatively safe, although no, we might be able to auto-form Castile soon. So we might still get some splits when we uh, have succession, but um, hopefully not that bad. Let's see, can, when can we change this? Can we change it to partition? Do we not have the required law? We don't have hereditary rule. And Catalan does not have plenary assemblies innovation. Okay, we're missing quite a lot of stuff. So we're going to be stuck in this for a while. Um... No, that's the wrong button. Here we go. So we do try, we need we need plenary assemblies here, and then actually yeah we need uh, this one here. So yeah we're we're some way off getting that. Um, we probably should focus on this, but I don't. We'll just leave it how it is. We we can just go to war with uh, Castile and take it um, as soon as uh, actually no it won't get auto formed because it already exists. Oh Navarra will be the one that splits from us. Interesting. Well, we'll we'll figure that out when uh, when the time comes to it. But for now, we can hold court. We'll do that at the beginning of the next episode. I think we're uh, we're going to finish for today. Actually, what does this give us? Reward depending on the outcome of the council. Struggle catalyst may occur. Must be further increased by ten. Oh, interesting. I don't know what this gives us then, depending on the outcome of this event. So it'd be cool to see. It'd be cool if we do get a better succession type. But uh, I don't think we do. I think it probably gives some kind of religious changes. But uh, anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. If you've enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. It helps other people find the series in the future. And if you're new here and this is your first episode, I do narrative campaigns in Crusader Kings 3 and I play other strategy and uh, management games on the channel. So that's your kind of thing. You know what to do. But for now, we're going to leave it there and I'll see you in the next one.